Hey y'all, it's Kathy Jo. Um, hi y'all, man. I feel like I haven't done a video in forever. I know I did that haul, but I don't think that that counts really. Anyway, so I have um, four DIYs for y'all today. I hope you enjoy them. I want to say hello to all my subscribers and thank you very much. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Um, Hey, share with your friends. Tell your friends. You guys mean the world to me. And to all my new subscribers, you rock. Anyway, so, um, these are fall DIYs. And, um, I think my fall DIYs are coming to an end. I think that I may get back to just doing regular stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Who knows with me. Anyway, um, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a big thumbs up. Um, I'm trying to get my channel to grow. Um, please subscribe. If you come past my video and you enjoy it, just subscribe. Because what you see is what you get with me. There's no um, fakeness. And anyway, um, click the little notification bell. You'll be notified each time I upload a video. And... Oh, in my haul video, I said when I reached 350 subscribers, I was going to be doing a giveaway. I meant 250. Sorry about that. It was an accident. Slip of the tongue. Look, I can all see you in chocolate. I don't know. Anyway, so I love you guys. Thank you for coming back and watching me. I don't know why you do sometimes. <laughs> anyway, no, I appreciate it. And I love y'all. And... I have one more thing to say, and y'all know what it is. Let's get on with the video. Okay, so right here, back in, I don't even know, January, I think, I took an old Christmas sign, and I took paint stir sticks, and I had painted the sign white, and, and was going to make a standing sign, but that doesn't work, you'll see. So just get you one of those square signs and put some paint stir sticks around it, and I just did it with... Um, hot glue. So, anyway, I am painting over the white, and I'm painting it celery. Gonna blow dry. I put some painter's tape around it to, um, try to prevent getting it on that wood as much as possible. So, I did pretty good. So, I'm painting the outside of it truffle. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, see? Truffle. <laughs> and... That's it. Anyway, and I just took what was left in my brush and just uh, dirtied it up. I always call it dirtying it up. Um, oh, well. Anyway, so that little pumpkin on that sign, I am i can't find my pumpkin. Everything's a mess where I'm redoing my room. So I just put my heat gun to the back of that sign and got that little pumpkin off. And then I'm taking that yard stake sign there, and I want that little arrow I had other arrows, just the plain wooden ones, but they were bigger. But I'm going to tell you what I do to get the glitter and stuff off those things. And I got a pack of those pumpkins I'm going to use. I use my rotary sander. And I just put it to it. And it just takes everything off of it you want. So I'm using wood filler here to fill in the little holes in those little pumpkins. You know, the ones that come in a five pack. That sound like Forrest Gump. I originally painted that little arrow white, but I painted over it because it just didn't match. So, I'm taking ivory, and I'm painting the large pumpkin. I didn't want to make y'all sit through that. And then I'm going to paint um, one of the smaller ones in moss. Love that color. I could paint moss and celery on everything. Again, green is my favorite color. See, moss. I'm doing it backwards. I'm kind of painting it, then showing you. And then the last one, I'm painting in cashew. And I'm just going to give it some lines there. And this time, make sure it doesn't look like an onion. Because I laughed so hard in that video, I just about I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I laughed so hard, I was crying. So, anyway... I'm just taking my time with that one, giving it some dimension, some texture. 
fancying it up, making it pretty. Make it look more like a pumpkin. I actually like the Halloween pumpkin styles better than I like the fall pumpkin styles. I like That looks more like a pumpkin to me. And I painted the stems whatever color I, um, we'll see, I'm painting that one most. So, whatever color I use to give it some dimension, that's the same color I use to paint the stems with. I don't know why. I just thought it looked good. And I liked it. So that counted. For something. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to let y'all listen to some music this time. Oh, so I took that little arrow and I ended up painting it in truffle to match the sign. And I'm writing two miles and 10 cents pound. And I wrote it crooked, but that's okay. That's DIY. I'm not Hobby Lobby. Nope. Just trying to make it a little bit cute. First time I painted it white and I used black... Uh, paint marker and I made it all whimsical that's supposed to be white but that to me doesn't look white it looked like ivory so I'm just measuring here to see <clears throat> where the middle is because I'm going to drill holes in that sign and in my little 2 miles 10 cents a pound sign too but I think I accidentally deleted the drilling into the sign or I forgot to hit record Yeah, who knows with me That's my dog in here. She's rolling around on the bed like goofball, acting like an idiot. You want to be careful drilling in that too, because those paint stir sticks and where it's held together with just the uh, um, hot glue. I keep wanting to say super glue, hot glue. Um, it's a bit flimsy when you go putting pressure on it to put. Uh, a drill to it. I moved my craft table. I used to, I went and bought all kinds of things, totes and stuff. My husband's already bought me shelves and all this stuff to put my, um, junk on. And I'm trying, I'm trying because I think my craft room is a 20 by 24 and it is so big. And it has got so much stuff you all would not even believe. I mean, you could literally go shopping in it. Anyway, so I took the celery and I'm just um, distressing the truffle on it. Like going backwards, you know. And I'm going to put some on that little sign. I'm just using a chippy brush. Man, it went heavy there, didn't it? Oh, well. Look at me go. Wim, 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 wim. Anyway, on my Cricut, I printed that out. That was in, um, Cricut, um, <clears throat> Cricut, I don't know. I didn't make it. Cricut did. I have to pay $9.99 a month to get certain things from Cricut, which isn't a bad deal. It's amazing. I'd rather pay $9.99 a month than pay, you know, per each thing. But Cricut Design Space. And it was in there. So anyway, I'm running some juke twine through my holes. And I ran it um, through the back of the... I'm just, I tie a couple knots in that just so it can hang down there. And I ran it through the sign because that way I can make sure that it hung even. Because you can move it around that way. <clears throat> I didn't want to take two pieces of twine and try to get it even. Because when you go try knots, you never know what you're going to end up with. I say try knots or tie knots. I don't know. Then I put some hot glue on that there. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> anyway. And there's part of it. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Isn't that adorable? Anyway. So I took some green floral wire. And I made some little tendrils for my pumpkins. And see, you can tell. I I'll, I'll used the rotary sander on that bad boy. Anyway. Um, and I put some hot glue on the tendrils too, because they seem to want to be going everywhere except where I wanted them to go, which that, again, is crafting, which I love. I love it. 250 subscribers. Not, yeah, 
As soon as I hit that, I'm going to be sending out some presents. Anyway, so y'all share this video. Tell your friends. Get me some subscribers. Because I love you all. Y'all like I love me. Anyway, those came from Target Dollar Spot. They're wood. And they got the sticky on the back. That didn't work. I had to add a dab of... Isn't that adorable? Isn't that the cutest thing in the world? Any, no, well, not in the world. I'm the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Anyway, I had to add, add a dab of hot glue to the back of it. So, I ended up um, having to cut off my little stand there stick. So, it, that wasn't going to work. So, I had to make it a hanging sign. So, I drilled some holes in it. Put me some jute twine in it. I'm always dressed like to the nines. I am just like, wow. In my pajamas. With paint all over me all the time. So, I took these little brown beads that I already had painted. They just were little wood beads. And I ran it through it. And what I did is tied knots behind it. I tried to zoom in there to show y'all that I knotted behind it so it wouldn't go through that hole. It would stay. You see what I'm talking about? You go underneath the bead and tie. Oh, I got these things for a dollar fifty at Walmart. And ooh, watch this. I it was crazy. That stuff was MDF. I couldn't get it off. I'll shoot myself in the head and there with my brains. But anyway, um, I bought. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, it took me forever to get those things apart, and then it ended up being just MDF board because. I had stolen my husband's staple remover, and he had the nerve to take it back. <laughs> anyway, he gave it back to me today. That didn't help me the other day. Anyway, so I was going to glue that and put a clamp on it with hot glue. And watch what happens. Bam! Shot me right in the heart. <laughs> so I get all four of them, and I get them um, hot. hot that's right, isn't it? Hot glued together. I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't talk when I start doing this. Anyway, they're 12 by 12, in case I didn't say. But I thought a dollar fifty that wasn't bad, especially since I couldn't find the um, 8 by 10 canvases at the Dollar Tree. And then I found, like, a bunch of them. But anyway, want to make sure that stays together really good. But whatever you do, don't clamp it. You might lose an eye. I don't know why I kept this in there so long. That was just stupid. So, anyway, I'm taking the spackling from Dollar Tree, and I'm filling in all the cracks, the crevices, the holes, the whole thing. <laughs> Watch me go, even up in the corners. And then I sanded it, and I painted it white. I did, and then that home decor wax. It's, it, it's the same as the Waverly wax. I have both of them, so I just grab whichever one. They work the same. They look the same. Um, and then moss. I put moss on it, too. I don't know what I'm saying. I probably have you guys so confused. Oh, I painted it white, but I lost that video, I reckon. I don't know. Who knows? So here I got me a 14-inch wreath form. And I'm wrapping it in nautical rope. It took seven. Um, I just showed you there that I, gl Ow, I glued the start of it. And then I just tucked the end piece in the hole. Or the in the... You see, I showed you. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah, seven. Took seven of them. And I did it in case I wanted to reuse it. I'm just burning the little hairs off there. And I got those maple bouquet leaves and just different ones, and I'm just cutting them off. I got a bunch of leaves from the Dollar, the dollar Tree. I try to make as much Dollar Tree as possible. Um, it's kind of hard when you can't find certain things. But anyway. There I go. I just did that all the way around. Just clipped off the stems and shoved those leaves in. All the way around. Then I took the little pomegranates, put them on there, and acorns. The, uh, the acorns come from Walmart because I couldn't find any just like I can't find those any pit those pit berry um garlands I can't find those anywhere I've looked and looked and looked and looked until I'm just like I give up 
So I take a piece of um, that red burlap burgundy. Isn't that pretty? They had different colors at Dollar Tree. They had orange. I doubled it up. And then I took a welcome sign on those metal welcome signs. You know, you get in those packs that says a bunch of welcome and, and gather. And I don't even know if they say gather. Anyway, so I hung my little wreath up with a Chanel stem on my my faux windows window don't want to say pain oh there i'm just rolling me some paper up off my hooky thing and i have three four pieces of wood there i can't count that's just scrap wood we had you can use those um wood thing those wood pieces from the dollar tree the two long ones are 13 inches <laughs> And the two short ones are, are 10 inches. I'm sorry, my dog is in my face. Like, literally, in my face. So, I'm going to paint the first one in orange. Abby, stop. You're knocking my tablet down. Anyway, in orange, um, Waverly chalk paint. Would you quit? I'm going to stand up. That is, um, uh, it's, I think it said deep wine. I don't know. You do, y'all just see it's a deep red. And that was from, um, uh, Anita's from Michael's. And then this one is dark forest green. And that is Americana. I think that come from Hobby Lobby. That paint is old, y'all. Old. When I was doing Americana stuff, oh, <laughs> and of course, Truffle from Waverly. There they all are painted. So I'm taking the white wax, um, Waverly um, wax, and I just wanted to see how that would work. I actually liked it, but it kind of like looked a lot like, um, the ivory paint. It didn't look so much white as it did ivory. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm just distressing my boards. And then I took some of those little wood stems, the long ones that you get from the Dollar Tree. And that's going to be my little stems for my pumpkins. And then I took burlap leaves. And look, I had to cut that one down because I couldn't find my other ones. And I get upstairs and some of my totes and stuff and see them laying up there. But that's too late. I wasn't going to change it then. So I just wrapped them around the stems, the little leaves. Well, the big leaves, they're big. And then I tried to match the burlap to the leaves that I use. Of course, the burlap's a different color because Dollar Tree isn't going to make everything match perfect. So look how light the orange is and how dark the orange is. You know what I mean? Anyway, but I still think it looks adorable. I am in love with these. I absolutely love these. So I just wrap the burlap around it, glue it, and do it to all of them. So then I'm going to take the little letters from the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna, I had to, you have to have two packs, or you can cut the second line off the AF and make another L. And I painted them in ivory because it matched that Waverly antique white wax. No, I don't know if it's called antique. It's Waverly white wax. And I spelled out the word fall. And then I'm taking, I took some uh, raffia, tied it around my stem, taking some jute twine, making me little bows. I'm going to glue it to them. And there you all have it. Here it all is. Man, that wreath is full. Maybe I need to take some stuff out of it. Looks like my hair in the morning. <laughs> I think it's pretty, though. I do like it. I think that is adorable. I think that is just adorable. Love it to death. Just paint stir sticks and a sign from the Dollar Tree, guys. Yep. Oh, and then you can get some stickers and stuff from the Dollar Tree and spell out pumpkin patch or handwrite it. My handwriting is not that good. But look at those. Aren't those beautiful? 
I love those. I absolutely 130% love those. Hey, y'all have a blessed day. Uh, be safe. May the good Lord watch over you. And you will see me or hear me. Or you can always hear me first. Hear me again soon. I love y'all. Thank y'all for subscribing and liking and sharing and just putting up with me. Love you. Bye.